Hello everyone, welcome back to X Machines channel. Recently we have witnessed the incredible volatility of world oil and gas prices. Consumers' money bags are like being stolen by someone, gradually decreasing. What has affected oil and gas prices so unusually? There are many reasons for that, but one primary reason is the availability of oil or gas at the site and at the time of consumption. And that's determined by oil and gas pipelines, oil and gas pipelines that make oil and gas flow on a regular, stable basis at a low cost. However, the investment cost of oil and gas pipelines is often very large and takes a long time to deploy. To learn more about the construction of oil and gas pipelines, in this video X Machines will take you to visit one of Australia's largest pipeline construction projects. To prepare the pipeline for the project, 360 km of 42-inch diameter pipeline, and 57 km of 36-inch diameter pipeline were ordered, to manufacture at one of the major steel pipe factories in Japan. After production, the steel pipes are strictly quality inspection before moving on to the next stage. Here the steel pipes are run through a sander to remove the rust outside, then they are acid dipped and painted. There are two coats of coating to protect the pipe from corrosion and have a long life. After the steel pipes are completely manufactured, they are loaded onto transport vehicles to be transported to the construction site. At this time, the workers are measuring and leveling for the construction of the pipeline. The 42-inch diameter steel pipes are gathered at the construction site, they are evenly distributed along the pipeline construction route. In order to reduce the load on direct welding of pipelines at the construction site, engineers have chosen a pipe length of 18 meters, which is a rather long size for ordinary steel pipes. An automatic welding firing line has been deployed with a crew of 80 people and dozens of welding aids used. The welding process includes welding connecting steel pipes together, then automatic ultrasonic testing, then anti-explosion coating, followed by coating on the weld. The trench is dug by a specialized trencher with a minimum depth of 2.25 meters. After digging the trench, the construction team will carefully and gently lower the pipe into the trench. The pipeline construction activities were implemented very quickly and urgently. They built with an average progress of 1.5 kilometers of pipelines in one day. The trench was then padded with screen trench spoil and backfill completed. Sections were then hydrostatically tested in lengths of up to 30 kilometers, with water being transferred from section to section. In a small package of the whole project. Contractors had to take on the much more challenging gas pipeline construction job of building the pipeline across the Condamine River. The problem now is how to deploy the project most efficiently and with the least impact on the environment. To solve this problem, engineers have chosen a construction method called horizontal directional drilling across the Condamine River. They had to do a HDD which is a horizontal directional drill. With this method, the engineer setting up on one side of the river putting a pilot hole, with a drill head through to the other side attaching a ream head, and then pulling back through until they get the required size of the hull on the other side of the river. They'll have a casing pipe and a pulling head will then pull this casing pipe under the river in one go through. In this construction area, in order to minimize the impact of the pipeline on the environment, the engineers decided to replace the 42-inch pipe with two parallel pipes of smaller size. To cater for this construction process, they had to build temporary infrastructure including a long causeway and rails for two parallel pipelines to pass through. Okay. 
conduct dredging of one undersea slot for two parallel pipelines to pass through. The cable is attached to the ends of two parallel pipes and is pulled by a giant winch weighing 450 tons. Finally, the installation of the cross-strait double pipeline was a great success. One job that shares many similarities with oil and gas pipeline construction is water pipeline construction. The key difference here is that, oil and gas pipeline construction needs to take into account the risks of oil or gas leakage leading to fire and explosion, while water pipeline construction does not. In terms of construction technology, there are many similarities, too. A unique drilling method called direct pipe was employed, the direct pipe method does not require high drilling fluid pressures and controls the pressure at the drilling head thus greatly reducing the risk of hydraulic fracture of the soil formation. The direct pipe system designed and operated by the German company Heron Connect. Record-breaking 48 direct pipe drilling project designed by Arsenault Wilson and Cole LLC and Geo Engineers. This project is a 3,500 direct pipe drilling project with a 48 steel casing pipe and a 30 HDPE carrier pipe that crosses under the Corps of Engineers Hurricane Protection Levy and the Sabine Neches Canal. The project connects a 24 waterline from the city of Port Arthur to another 24 waterline on Pleasure Island. The construction was performed by Strike Construction and Laney Directional Drilling. Thank you for watching the whole video. 
Please leave comments to discuss the pipe construction methods in the video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to watch other useful videos from X Machines.